Welcome today we will be performing the ultrasonic pulse velocity test. This test is conducted to determine the quality of concrete by analyzing velocity of ultrasonic waves in concrete specimens. To conduct this experiment we would require a transceiver and transducer, ultrasonic pulse velocity apparatus, lubricant and calibration bar. First we will have calibrate the ultrasonic pulse velocity apparatus by using a calibration bar. Here we are using a calibration bar with pulse transit time of 58.1 microseconds. We start by applying the grease on the transducer and the receiver. We would then pass the ultrasonic waves through the calibration bar. It can be seen that the pulse transit time is 59.2 microseconds thus there is a zero error of 1.1 microseconds. We shall begin with the direct test. We would mark the center of the longitudinal ends. To conduct the direct test, apply the grease at the two opposite ends of the specimen this would ensure proper contact between the concrete surface and the transducer or receiver. Observe and note the time taken for ultrasonic waves to pass through the specimen. The time taken is 108.2 microseconds after correcting for the zero error. Measure the length between the transducer and the receiver. We would calculate the speed of ultrasonic waves in concrete using distance measured and time observed. The calculated velocity is 4.62 km per second. Then we would use the standard table provided in IS 516 Part 5, Section 1. For assessing the quality of concrete, it can be seen that the observed velocity is greater than 4.5 km per second thus the quality of concrete is excellent. Now we shall continue with semi-direct test. In semi-direct test the transceiver and transducer is placed on the adjacent sides of the specimen. Observe and note the time taken for ultrasonic waves to pass through the specimen. Measure or calculate the direct length between the transducer and the receiver. We would calculate the speed of ultrasonic waves in concrete using distance measured and time observed. The calculated velocity is 4.74 km per second. Using the standard table provided in IS 516 Part 5, Section 1.IT can be observed that the quality of concrete is excellent as the observed velocity is greater than 4.5 km per second. At last we would perform the test in indirect mode. In indirect mode the receiver and the transducer is placed on the same surface. Measure or calculate the direct length between the transducer and the receiver. In the present case the direct length between the transducer and the receiver is 166 mm. We would calculate the speed of ultrasonic waves in concrete using distance measured and time observed. The calculated velocity is 4.42 km per second. The code recommends that for indirect test, the pulse velocity may be increased by 0.5 if the calculated velocity is greater than 3 km s. Here the calculated velocity is 4.42 km per second thus the corrected velocity is 4.92 km per second. Finally from the standard table provided in IS code it can be concluded that quality of concrete is excellent. This concludes our ultrasonic pulse velocity test.